welcome to AN and Seven's Town Hall debate held at the ANC Free State Headquarters in Bloemfontein, where we'll be discussing two topics, the succession battle within the province and radical economic transformation. On the succession battle, we have two contenders. On one hand, we have a contender with an overwhelming majority of support in the province, Dr. Ace Makhashule. And then we have another contender, Tabo Manioni, who ANC Free State members does not say does not stand a chance at all. But let me first introduce you to our esteemed panelists who have decided to join us today. From the left, we have Mkoli Sion Zana, the chairperson of the region of Mangaung. Thank you so much for joining us. We have Tembe Ningangisa, the REC member in Mangaung. Thank you so much for joining us. We have Zoli Lemangotra from the SACP. Thank you so much for joining us. And we have Meoli Lameli, the chairperson of the Women's League in the province. Thank you so much for joining us. Please remember to share your tweets with us at ANN7TV with the hashtag Town Hall Debates. Let's get started. Our first question is both Manioni and Mahashule are contesting for chairperson. What are the chances for both contenders and who do the people of the free state prefer? I'm going to direct this question to Tembeni first to handle it. Thank you so much. Good evening and thanks for, for, for the opportunity and your viewers at all. Um, <clears throat> contest in the ANC is part of the inter internal democracy of the ANC and is accepted, it is conducted within the guidelines and uh, parameters of the constitution of the ANC. However, what I want to raise in terms of the popular view of the Free State is that uh, uh, Comrade uh, Dr. Ace Makashuni has received a overwhelming support by branches of the ANC in the Free State. Of course, Comrade Tabo Manyoni is contesting as well, which is allowed, but in terms of the popular support, uh, Comrade Ace is leading the support of ANC branches in the Free State. He is, of course, a well-known, well-supported, well-loved person of the Free State because of his caliber and, char and, and character. He's a person of persons. He, he is always amongst and within the people. So he has served the Free State very well. He has shown the Free State people what it means to be a servant of the people. So he takes cue. He took cue from Ubabu Nelson Mandela, and in the Free State he's much loved. That's why he's uh, well supported and well loved in the Free State. So he's making it. Thank you so much. And Mayoli, I would like to know the Women's League stance on their preferred candidate for chairperson here in the Free State. The Women's League is known for action and nothing else and action. We as the Women's League, according to our nominations, we nominated a comrade Isma Khashule, the present chairperson of the Free State African National Congress. Comrade Is, his name is Papa Action. He's a man of action. He decides, he influences, he agitates the people that he's working with. Comrade Ace, the example is when we go into the communities, whether it's through government, whether it's through ANC, Everybody's just surrounding Comrade Ace. I just want to say that by an example. We went, we went to one small town, Orangeville. Then one old lady said that, where is this boy? I want to see this boy who's working so hard. And when he appeared, what Uncle Siam, God, please be with this man. He speaks to the poor. He speaks to the learned. He speaks to young people. He's appealing even to the gangsters. When he speaks to them, they listen. When everybody speaks to him, he listens. But you know that the Freedom Charter, he's one person, he's one leader of the ANC that is definitely implementing the Freedom Charter. One of the, the things that there shall be, the doors of learning shall be opened. Look at what he is both as the chairperson of the province as well as the premier of the free state. We've got a number and number of students that he sent abroad with his team. And we've just seen two days ago, those students came back, the top students. So skill development is passion to him. Fighting poverty is fight, it's, 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 it's what is in his blood system. And you know that the Freedom Charter again, it says, there shall be housing, security, and comfort. And therefore, he is really doing that. He's a leader, he's agitating, he's influencing us to work. And we, as the Women's League, side by side with all the structures of the AZ in this province, we are going there to ensure that 
we elect Comrade Ace as the chairperson of the ANC in this province. Ali Bongwe. Thank you so much, Maoni. Is Are there any other comrades in the audience who would like to retort on these views shared by your leadership? Sure, come forward. Your name and surname, and you'll just share your views to the leadership. Uh, my name is Junior Venkel. I'm from Tabanchu. I'm a member of the African National Congress. As I stand here, I stand as a proud member of the African National Congress, whereby I don't have any hesitation that uh, Dr. Isma Khashule has been nominated to, be, to lead the province again. The thing that makes me aware of that is that that man, as me only has alluded, he is already Papa Ekshe. And what I know, already he had achieved uh, an honorary of being called a doctor because he wants to see always a black child being educated. So that thing, even in life, many people love Dr. Mahashule because of Kaliba. He was in the trenches of the African National Congress. He grew in the trenches of uh, disciplinary leadership. And you can see as a leader, he is always humble and he respects the people. That is what I can say. I say, at the province, I'm proud to be one of those delegates who will make sure that he's going to be the provincial chairperson. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Sir. I'd like us to talk a bit about the other contender, uh, Tabo Manyoni. Um, it does appear that he does have some support as well, and that support has express their views in the form of uh, court action. Is there anyone that would like to speak on that? Or I'd rather want to start with um, Oli CCM Zano with that. Thank you very much. Uh, the viewers of NN7 as well as uh, the members of the ANC and the panelists. Your question is what is my view on issues of Manyuni in terms of uh, the support base as well as the court cases that we are talking about? I'll talk about the structure that I lead. Issues of leadership, we had discussed them at our RSC, Kumri Timbini is serving the RSC as well. In our RSC, as we were discussing leadership, the only name that emerged is the name of Comrade Ace. And we also went to the RGC. The only name which was, which emerged even then, it was the name of Comrade Ace. In Mangawung, most of the branches, they nominated Comrade Ace. I think that is the, that's what I can say. But of course, you are also asking me about the issue of the court cases. The province won two cases. And one case we lost it. It's around the BGMs, the manner in which they were conducted, and must indicate that it's only 29 branches, of which the PC has taken a decision that will rerun those BGMs and all the branches in Mangawung yesterday. They rerun, and all of them were successful. That's what I can say. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, I'd like to ask uh, Zoli Lemangotra, um, what is your response to uh, members handling internal issues um, outside to the courts instead of in internally with the ANC? No, thank you very much. Let me also greet the viewers at home and uh, members of the ANC who are gathered here and the leadership. Uh, firstly, let me clarify this, that uh, I'm also the RWC, the REC member of the AES in the region, uh, and I'm here in that capacity. Um, in the ANC, there's what we call internal democracy, 
whereby each and every member participate in the ANC in decision making uh, to make sure that we arrive at collective decisions. So now there's no situation in the ANC whereby other people are excluded uh, or other people uh, are not invited to ANC activities. All comrades, all members of the ANC get invited, but then that has to be done according to the constitutional prescripts of the ANC. Of course, there will be those who are in good standing. There will be those who are not in good standing. And in terms of the constitution, uh, those who are in, in good standing are the ones who uh, have the right now uh, to take decisions or participate in constitutional structures of the ANC, be they branches, regions, province, and national. So it's, uh, the constitution is very clear. There's no confusion about it. All members of the ANC do have the right to participate in the lifeblood uh, of the African nation. I'd also like to hear a bit from the SACP Zolile Magotra on who his preferred candidate is. Of course, uh, for instance, if you check at the process that has unfolded now of uh, 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 the guidelines of the ANC as to how uh, candidates are identified, the process of BGMs and all of that, those guidelines are very clear and I'm very much happy that at this time the centrality of the branch of the ANC has come to the fore. You see, because branches of the ANC as the nerve center of the organization are the ones uh, who are making decisions of as to who do they want to lead the ANC, uh, who will become the president of the ANC, who will constitute the national leadership of the ANC. So that in itself is based, the ANC has taken the decision to base that at branch level, uh, so that nobody will come and claim that an upper structure uh, overruled whatever decision was taken at branch level or uh, any other thing. So it's the basic unit of the ANC which is uh, actually being playing a very central role uh, in decision making in this regard. Yes. And I'd like to add uh, to Tembeni. Um, do you feel that there's a constant looming threat of court action and that this might actually avail itself when you head to the conference this weekend? I think as is, it is outlined, ANC members have an ample chance and have a great opportunity to express their views internally and be able to be heard. And all ANC members in terms of the ANC constitution are free to participate and express their views openly and freely. And you would have people who are not happy with the processes of the organization. To a large extent, those who don't appreciate the democratic processes of the ANC, deciding to go outside the borders of the ANC with the purpose of causing contention, causing confusion, and held, holding the, the organization at ransom. So I don't think that approach is OK. Because in the ANC, people have got ample chance of raising their views. So oh, going outside the ANC, I would, I would say I discourage it. And I think all ANC members must ex exhaust all ANC processes. They allow that process to complete. Thank you so much. Now, we don't have enough time before we finish. And I would like the comrades on the ground to be able to speak on this as well. Is there anyone who would like to speak on the issue of court action with the ANC? You can come up. Name and surname first. Okay, um, my name is Mwiponi Molwabi from uh, Rocklands. Um, what I want to allude on is that in the ANC we were taught that uh, as a member of the ANC, if you are not satisfied, there are processes that you need to, to go through. But uh, this tendency that recently started in a in few years ago, uh, that people are going to court, it doesn't sit well in the branches because as branches we know how our constitution work and we know how to do things as leadership as leadership of the branches we know exactly what we need to do and the problem is those who are going to court are not even members of the organization and they do not even participate in the life of the organization and we need to send a message to them that tomorrow they must know what their organization wants and they must be held on the constitution of the organization. That's where we're going to uh, let our communities and also the entire country know what the ANC expects from us. So as the leadership of this, uh, of this organization, we are very resolute on what we are doing right now. And we are not going out of the law of the organization. What we need is for them to come to the conference if they are delegates and let's contest as needed. Thank you.
Thank you so much. That wraps up our first topic, which is the succession battle within the province. Please stay tuned to ANN7. After the break, we'll be discussing radical economic transformation.